Hello guys and welcome back to DIY Build and Repair. I'm John and today I have a different video from usual. Uh, I mean I'm gonna mount uh, around 23 or 22 inch TV on this wall. So taking in consideration that the desk is gonna be around this height around here I wouldn't go too far up with it you know so if you if you're on uh, the desk at your computer you can still work at a decent angle so I think I'm gonna go with it around here so it can pivot when you want to watch a movie you can pivot it like this and you can watch the movie or whatever angle you want and you can watch a movie from the comfort of your bed this is my mom's room so I'm doing this to make it easier for her to watch some movies when she wants to relax <laughs> so yeah I think I'm gonna mount it like around here so it's okay even when sitting at the desk first thing is gonna be to remove this the TV's uh, stand has some screws around here I'm gonna take out the screws and then I'm gonna measure the point where the uh, TV should be I think it's gonna be around yeah like here so the middle is gonna be around here so I have some things here to guide myself after alrighty then let me take down take off the stand so we can go to the next step as I was saying it has three screws one here another one and another one I'm gonna do them unscrew them off camera and then come back so as I said earlier if I want the middle of the TB TV, TV damn TV to be around here like I need to set it like this because the vase amount of on the TV is in the middle of the TV so the middle should be around here so I have to uh, is it okay something like this now it's too close to the wardrobe so I'm gonna move the middle of the TV more to this side so it's gonna be a bit like this yeah, I think this is a much better spot for it all right so I have here the top one two three screws so okay I made the markings for the support here on the wall this card came with the vase amount so you can measure here and punch your holes I have here a puncher so the drill head doesn't go like this when you start drilling this is an automatic puncher it has a spring inside and it's gonna help you punch a start for your hole okay now I have put it like this here and let's see we have a included small level so we level it up level it up as good as we can okay let's see now it's pretty level if you ask me now all right and now we punch the holes in the center here one I punch again so I'm sure I have two and three okay. and we have the three holes punched here all right okay so it's a good a very good thing we have the template included because it makes things much easier to match the holes 
with the ones on the actual uh, support VESA mount. Okay, for the actual hole drilling, I'm going to use this Dexter hammer drill. Yep, uh, 1100 watts and lots of power. Alright, let's start with the bottom hole. So, tip of the drill bit, tip of the drill bit, exactly in the center that I punched earlier. That was too much, but doesn't matter. It's gonna hold. Okay. Same here. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. 8 millimeter drill because that is what is required, what it says on the uh, template. It's 8 millimeter. So, yeah, let's put the. Uh, Let's mount it. Okay, so we have everything we need in here, nicely separated. Now I'm gonna open up. Yeah, okay. Let's do it like this. Shit! Yeah. Don't don't do what I just did. Too well packed. Okay. We actually. Uh oh. Hmm. These are a bit bigger. Damn. Okay, so it wasn't right. Yeah, okay. Okay, I've got everything unpacked. Let's change the let's change the drill bit. Put a bigger drill bit so we can make them a bit larger. That's life. Sometimes it's a hit, sometimes it's a bit of a miss. All right. Now let's see. Oh, perfect fit. One, two, three. Now, a bit of hammering. Beautiful. All righty now, I have everything I need here. Okay, I'm gonna do this by... Uh oh. Yeah, I, I'm a bit stupid. Sometimes I forgot the washers. But no problem, I put this one with washers. Now I take this one out. Keep it lined up. I'm gonna keep it lined up and now Let's check if it's straight. This is straight. Okay, a bit back. All right, now it's straight. Go the other way and it stays straight now. All 
right. This ain't going nowhere. Yeah, these are great here. Good thing Parkside from Lidl. Great tool. Yeah, it chews up the screw, but the bit, the driver bit is perfect. So, yeah, Parkside. Good quality stuff, good prices. No, I'm not uh, promoting or anything. It's not paid promotion. I'm not getting paid for this. I just like the tools. So, would you believe it? It has covers so it doesn't look nasty. It doesn't leave the wall looking nasty. What the kind of found the trick? You have to pull these apart in order for it to work. You have to wiggle them into place. That's it. Yep. And now it looks really good. As you can see. Last thing, mounting the TV on the visa. So you can have the TV like this or like this. Uh, yeah, I have to tighten a bit these nuts. Okay, they are on this side then. These nuts. They also included some tools. So I'm gonna take the hex tool and try to tighten these as well. Now it's not that easy to move it so a bit just a bit tight okay and this one as well all right pretty tight now so you can have it like this or like this so it's really really nice whoa what the? Okay. So you can actually level the TV. Nope, too much. Okay, that's level. And tighten these in the back. Okay, now I'm gonna show you what I did in the back of the TV. The four screws from the VESA mount. Okay, I started with this one, screwed mostly, not all the way. Then this one, screwed them a bit better. So it, hold, it held the TV like this, in these two screws. And then I put the other two screws easily. And tighten them all to be as tight as possible. These were the ones for going up and down that I tightened so it doesn't fall because of the weight after you adjust it and going back this is the one that goes like this after adjusting the level of the TV I tight tightened this very well so it doesn't move okay guys so this is how I install the VESA wall mount so I think I did the pretty good job that's my opinion hope it was helpful for you guys so see you in the next uh, video don't forget like share subscribe or dislike if you did not like it see you next time bye guys